Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. And one of the previous videos that I had posted on YouTube covered creating a Kubernetes cluster using Rancher and VMware. And one of the questions that I have received quite a few times on that previous video is how do you actually go about creating the VMware template that you use in Rancher's node template to actually clone and spin up the Kubernetes hosts in your VMware vSphere environment. Well, stick around in the video today, I'm going to briefly go over the simple steps to create a uh, VMware template that you can use in your node template section to create a Kubernetes cluster using Rancher on VMware vSphere. Step number one to actually creating a VMware vSphere template that Rancher can work with and reference in the node template uh, section of your Rancher configuration for your Kubernetes cluster is pulling down the correct Ubuntu image. Now to do this, to, for it to work correctly, you need the Ubuntu cloud image. So don't create a normal Ubuntu server image that's customized. You want to go to Ubuntu, pull down the cloud image that you want to use in your Kubernetes cluster. Now, this page that I have displayed is Ubuntu cloud images. You can land on this page by simply Googling that exact term, Ubuntu cloud images, and you're going to land on this page. Now, we want the focal image. The Ubuntu Server 2004 LTS cloud image is currently the stable image that you can use and supported image that you can use to deploy your Kubernetes clusters. So click on the focal folder and then I'm simply going to pick the current uh, release. And what I like to do is just a simple control F uh, to find a word on the page and I'm just going to look for OVA. And as there are a number of options for this cloud image, and as we see, we've landed on the focal server cloud image OVA. And as you can see, it's noted as being for VMware VirtualBox OVA appliance. So we're simply going to download the OVA image. And after the download completes, we're going to deploy this inside of VMware vSphere and convert that to a template that can be used and referenced in the Rancher node template. Okay, so what we do now that we have the Ubuntu cloud image downloaded to our desktop is we're going to deploy that cloud image into VMware vSphere. And to do that, I have created a templates folder like most do. Uh, to house templates, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say deploy OVF template, and we're going to pick local file, upload file, and we're going to pick the OVA appliance that we have just downloaded from the Ubuntu Cloud Images site. I'm going to say next. I'm going to customize this just a bit. I'm going to take out the focal just to make the name a little bit more uh, intuitive and short. And I'm going to leave the cloud image on the end because I want to designate this as a cloud image that I'm going to use for this purpose. So leaving the folder as templates, click next, selecting the compute resource is fine. Now we have this initial review details page. We're just simply going to click next, select the storage, say next. We're going to leave the destination network, say next. On the customized template, you don't have to do anything here. Uh, so you can just leave this customized template at the defaults, which is nice. We can just simply say next and finish. Now, once we initiate the deployment of that OVA appliance, we're going to see the vSphere task or vCenter task kick off uh, both the import OVF as well as deploy OVF. So once this is completed, then we will proceed with the conversion to an actual vSphere template. Okay, now for the very anticlimactic conversion to vSphere template. We're going to simply click the deployed OVA appliance that is currently a virtual machine, right click, go to template, and we're going to convert to template. And we're going to be asked, are we sure we want to do this? And we're going to say yes. 
and in just a matter of seconds we now have a Ubuntu cloud image vSphere template. So now that we've logged into Rancher we want to reference that Ubuntu cloud image vSphere template that we just created inside of our Rancher node template. So I'm going to simply uh, edit a node template that I have already created. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to say edit. And we're going to scroll down to the instance option. So if this is not expanded, uh, you want to expand number three, instance options. And under the instance options is where you will find the ability to select the template. Then you select your uh, Ubuntu 2004 cloud image vSphere template and Rancher will now use once this is saved as a node template it will now use that particular cloud image to deploy your Kubernetes cluster. Hopefully this allows you to have a better understanding of the process which image you need to use and how you go about the steps to create that uh, VMware vSphere template. Well, please do hit uh, like on the video, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos, and please do subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys soon.